Welcome to this comprehensive demonstration of the Pentest MCP server, a production-ready model context protocol server that enables AI agents to perform autonomous penetration testing on any Linux distribution. Unlike traditional penetration testing workflows, this server provides persistent session management with Tmux, enabling complex multi-step operations, interactive tool control, and automatic recovery from network failures, and many more. We're going to walk through a complete penetration test of Metasploitable, from initial reconnaissance all the way through to root access and data exfiltration. We have Kali Linux running as our attack platform and Metasploitable as our vulnerable target running on the same network using VirtualBox. I'm using WarpDev as a client for my MCP server. You can use 5 or IDEs like Cursor or Windsurf or any other MCP client you like. We ask the Warp agent to clone the repo and follow the installation instructions. The agent gives us the JSON string we need to add the MCP server in warp. We go to the settings and paste the JSON string. We change the IP and password to match our Kali machine, then click Save. And voila, the MCP is running. We also tell the agent to change the IP and password in the .env file. We are now ready to start pen testing. I verify system status on Kali. This gives us various information of our attack system. We then check if there are sessions left open. If any, we ask the agent to close them all. The Pentest MCP server allows us to create isolated Tmux sessions for different stages of our attack. This is a key advantage over traditional approaches. Each session maintains its own state and command history. Watch as we create three specialized sessions, one for reconnaissance, one for exploitation, and one dedicated to data collection. This separation of concerns keeps our workflow organized and ensures proper session management. Now we begin the reconnaissance phase. Our first step is to identify what services are running on the target system. The LLM is using Nmap with service detection to create a comprehensive map of the attack surface. It runs Nmap with timing level 4 for speed, service version detection enabled, and output saved to multiple formats, including XML, for later parsing. The LLM can decide whether to use background or foreground for a specific task. This is useful when using commands that need immediate results the LLM waits for the command to complete or time out, or when executing long-running operations like full Nmap scans, brute force attacks, large file transfers, etc. The LLM sets background to true, it can later on use read output to check the results. This makes the MCP server able to run multiple background tasks simultaneously. Perfect. The scan has completed. We found 12 open ports on the target system. We're going to tell the LLM to download the XML containing the scan results to our system. Execution vulnerability, which typically provides instant root access with a single exploit. Now we move to the exploitation phase. It decides to use the Metasploit framework to launch our attack against the Samba vulnerability.
received a root shell on the target system. Let's try collecting the password file. This file contains all user accounts on Metasploitable. We have a dedicated data collection session running on our local Kali system. However, we need to bridge the gap between our compromised shell on Metasploitable and our data collection environment. Since the exploit session is running on a different environment, the LLM decides to create a netcat listener on Kali and then goes back to the Metasploit session to send the file to our Kali system on data collection session. The data has been successfully transferred. Let's verify the file we captured. Perfect. We've successfully exfiltrated the password file. The file contains 35 lines representing 35 user accounts on the system. You can enable auto-approve for LLM commands so the MCP runs them automatically. Handy when clicking Run all the time gets tedious. One standout feature of the Pentest MCP server is complete session history tracking. Every command in every session is logged, timestamped, and saved. Our reconnaissance history lists every nmap command we used for discovery. In the exploitation history, you can see the exact metasploit commands we ran to compromise the target. That gives a full audit trail. The data collection history shows failed SSH attempts, then our successful netcat tunnel. That level of detail is invaluable for documentation, learning, cross-platform work, and session recovery. All session logs are stored as JSON in .mcp underscore history. They persist across MCP restarts and client disconnects. The MCP server also provides strong session management. The big advantage, the Metasploit shell stays active even when you disconnect. You can reconnect, interact with the shell, run post-exploit modules, or launch more exploits, as long as the Tmux session exists. The NCP demo we ran was against Metasploitable, an intentionally vulnerable lab VM. If you try this in your own lab, the MCP will keep attempting to pawn Metasploitable until it gets a shell, so you can watch the whole workflow in action. We used this demo so you could see exactly what the MCP can do. Persistent sessions, full logging, and live recon and exploit loops. Remember, only run these tests on machines you own or are explicitly allowed to test. Unauthorized hacking is illegal. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Subscribe for more pen test tooling demos.